State Representative Park Cannon is finding herself in the middle of the controversy after she was arrested at the state capitol last night, as you see here. This all happened as the governor spoke about the new law. Latasha Givens walks us through what happened and the new charges she's facing. Multiple videos show Democratic State Representative Park Cannon standing outside the governor's ceremonial office. Putting hard work in Georgians first. Knocking on the door as he delivered remarks after first. signing the highly contested SB202 bill into law. I'm not going to tell you again. Georgia State Patrol says Representative Cannon was told to stop because a press conference was happening inside. A camera shows an interruption at one point with the governor leaving his desk. After an exchange of words and another attempt to knock on the door, Cannon was arrested. She was taken to the Union City Jail, where supporters gathered outside, chanting for her to be released. About four hours later, Cannon was granted a signature bond. In a statement, Georgia State Patrol says, quote, Representative Cannon continued to knock on the door and was instructed again to stop knocking on the door. She was advised that she was disturbing what was going on inside, and if she did not stop, she would be placed under arrest. The statement continues saying, quote, She was again advised if she did not stop, she would be arrested for obstruction and disturbing the press conference. End quote. Cannon was charged with obstructing an officer and preventing or disrupting General Assembly sessions or meetings of members. And I don't see anything uh, illegal that was going on uh, that Park Cannon um, was doing. Her so attorney, I'm Gerald Griggs, says they will vigorously fight these charges. There was an attempt to silence voices, an attempt to keep people out in the most fundamental of our democracy, and that's voting. I I've tried hard to find some legal justification for this arrest, and I can't find it. 11 Alive legal analyst Paige Pate watched multiple videos from different angles, read the arrest warrants, and has come to this conclusion. You've got three main problems with this arrest. One, she didn't do what she was charged with doing. Two, one of those laws is unconstitutional. And three, she has special protection as a member of the General Assembly. So there is no basis, no basis under the law for her arrest last night. What about the trooper? Was he within his rights to do so? I don't think so. Now, the trooper certainly is within his rights to instruct an individual who is creating a disturbance at the Capitol to cease the disturbance. 